Is that my cue or? Not yet, sir. Not yet. Sergeant Adonis, please start your recordings. Recording good. You see recording to the clouds, good. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing vote on the Committee on Consumer Affairs. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video. Once again, all panelists, please turn on your video at this time. To, play, uh, to minimize any disruptions, please place all electronic devices on silent. Chair Cohn, we are ready to begin. All right, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Andrew Cohen, and I'm the chair of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Uh, today, we, well, I guess first I should acknowledge we've been joined by Council Members Chin, Ku, Lander, uh, Jaeger, and Brannon. What about me? I'm Kozlowitz, which, uh, but if I didn't write it down, it means you're not here. So sorry about that, Karen. Now you're here, Karen, and especially Council Member Kozlowitz. Uh, today, we will be voting on a pre-considered bill from Council Member Reynoso that seeks to codify permanent outdoor dining and ensure that there is clarity regarding the use of heaters. New York City's restaurants struggle with very slim profit margins at the best of times. With ongoing restrictions in place due to the COVID pandemic, these margins are even smaller, and some restaurants have simply been unable to bear the losses. According to a report from the city controller, nearly 1,300 of the city's restaurants permanently closed between March and July of this year, and about 187,000 food and hospitality jobs have been lost. The city council has been proactive in doing what it can to alleviate the pain the COVID crisis has wrought on our city's food industry. And this committee in particular has been working to pass legislation to help restaurants and food establishments stay afloat. In addition to codifying outdoor dining through the passage of intro 1957, we also enacted intro 1916, which required the city to waive and refund consent fees related to sidewalk cafe licenses for the duration of the COVID emergency. The, the city council also passed a number of bills to limit the fees that third party delivery platforms can charge restaurants that use their services. Today's legislation aims to further support the struggling industry, this struggling industry, and will make outdoor dining a permanent feature of this city. The mayor recently announced that he plans to permit outdoor dining all year round, and this bill will codify the mayor's effort. Such measures are pivotal if we are to make up for the significant losses restaurants have faced, and will also assist toward the post-COVID uh, revival of the, and recovery of the city. This bill would also permit the use of propane and electric space heaters in outdoor, space, in outdoor dining areas, subject to guidance from the fire department. As the winter approaches, many restaurateurs have called for updates to the city's rules to allow for propane gas heaters, which are necessary to keep patrons warm and restaurants in business. Current rules prohibit propane gas heaters, despite the fact that they are permitted in numerous other cities. Until restaurants can reopen to full capacity, they are unlikely to generate the revenue they produced pre-COVID. However, the council will continue to use all of its authority to develop creative and helpful ways to mitigate some of the fallout. Our restaurant hospitality industry are not only key providers of jobs and revenue, but they also add to the dynamism of this city. As such, we want to ensure that we can provide all the relief possible to this vital element of New York. Uh, and with that, I'm going to ask uh, the clerk to call the roll. Good afternoon. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote in Committee on Consumer Affairs. Preconsidered introduction. Chair Cohen. I vote aye. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Chin. I vote aye. Thank you. Ku. We can't hear you, Peter. Mr. Chair, can I explain my vote? Now that I can hear you, you definitely can. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. I want to say outdoor dining is an innovative program that brought life back to our neighborhoods during the summer. But extending this through the winter will require much more careful examination. <clears throat> Snow, ice, and wet weather will surely impact our sidewalks 
and streets and compete with dining space and pedestrians. We shouldn't ignore the benefits of the program, nor should we simply jump into making it permanent without seeing first how it will work during the more difficult, during the more difficult winter months. The responsible thing to do would be to implement a pilot so we can monitor the program throughout the winter before codifying outdoor dining uh, year round. <clears throat> so for this reason, I will be abstaining. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilmember Kozlowitz. May I explain my vote? Of course, well, Councilman Kozlowitz. Well, certainly I want to help small business in any way I possibly can. I'm in this legislation, I really want to try it before I buy it. I'm worried about the winter months with the snow plows going down the street. I'm worried about um, how this is going to be implemented. And I really feel that at this point, I can vote for a permanent solution until I see how it works out. So with that, I vote no. Lander. Permission to briefly explain? Of course. Thank you, Chair. I'll be voting uh, in favor of today's legislation. I certainly hear the concerns folks have, and obviously it will be very important to monitor and pay attention and for us to be willing to come back and legislate again if we need to. But um, I certainly want to do what we can to help make it possible. I've been starting to bundle up. I was out yesterday in the rain at a great uh, a great outdoor dining restaurant that had a little space heater and um, that worked pretty well. Um, I may be a broken record on this, but I'm gonna keep doing it every time we take steps uh, around supporting restaurants. Um, it just remains very distressing to me that, you know, even though we haven't done enough for restaurants, we've acted now for them a lot of times with nothing done for the workers who are in them around some of the protections that we could be expanding. Uh, delivery workers who don't work for restaurants, but for app delivery, we could be ensuring have paid sick leave and we have a move to do that. And those workers who are in fast food uh, restaurants who have been asking us for over a year at this point for the just cause protections against unfair firings. I'm eager to see this council step up and support workers in these restaurants in addition to the restaurants themselves. I vote aye. You. Brennan. Uh, permission to briefly explain my vote? Yes. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'll be voting aye. I share uh, all the concerns from uh, Council Members Koo and Kozlowitz and, and, and certainly Councilman Lander. I also want to put on the record that it is now October 13th and we are still waiting for the official guidance from the city on the outdoor heating situation. They teased it and they still haven't given us the official guidelines as to what that's going to look like and what restaurants need to do. Um, and certainly uh, by passing this legislation, we're going to need that uh, guidance yesterday, basically. So hopefully this will push uh, the administration to finally come forward with what that guidance is going to look like. And I hope that the uh, year round outdoor dining is the one of very few silver linings that may come from uh, the past seven months uh, of, uh, of challenges that we've seen here in our city. So with that, I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Yeager. Mr. Chairman, may I be excused to explain my vote? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, I, I too support uh, the outdoor dining, although in my district, uh, not many restaurants have been able to uh, take advantage of it for a number of reasons, including that many of our restaurants don't have the frontage uh, necessary for that, as Councilman Lander knows, because we share some of the same commercial areas. Um, and also because of the nature of many of our restaurants uh, being closed uh, for some of the days of the week, it just simply wasn't worth the infrastructure investment in many cases. Um, still, my district is big and the city is big, and I supported it when we voted for this uh, several months ago. Um, but uh, like uh, Councilmember Koslowitz and Councilmember Koo, uh, 
um, and I don't know if I could be as eloquent as they, but I will say that uh, calling this introduction pre-considered is certainly an understatement. I don't believe it's been considered at all. Uh, we have a winter in front of us. There is no reason to vote for this bill right now today when we can check uh, just in a couple of months and see what the interplay between these roadway dining and for example, our city's snow plows, um, uh, the ability of store owners and homeowners to shovel and where are they going to put the snow as they remove it? How is this going, all of this going to interplay? And we have a chance to actually watch it um, and see what happens before we make uh, this, you know, a permanent thing. Um, and as we, as we step towards permanentizing something without actually even taking a chance, because there really is no rush to do it right now. Um, we, we have the ability to extend the dining into the winter right now. Um, uh, it extends until December. We can extend it through the rest of the winter and give it a chance to work. So for that reason, I do support section one of the statute of the bill, uh, the proposed very pre-considered introduction uh, to allow uh, outdoor dining to have heating because I think that's a necessary component to giving winter a shot. Um, as council member Kuhn, council member Castlewood said, let's, let's tr you know, try it before we buy it. Um, and I also support section three to extend briefly into next year, into 21, uh, for the to the conclusion of the winter to actually see this work. I do believe in many neighborhoods, this has been very successful. Um, uh, and I say very successful only to the extent that the option was closure and very successful means opening. Um, and to the extent that we can get any business open just a little bit, that's at least some success. Uh, but with those reservations, and uh, as my colleagues have said, I will unfortunately have to join them in voting no uh, with great respect for those who, who know that restaurants uh, need this extra helping hand. And I certainly have spoken uh, in this committee and on the floor about the need to get restaurants back in business, to get businesses back in business in our city. But for that, Mr. Chair, I vote no. Thank you. Uh, by a vote of four in the affirmative, two in the negative, and one abstention, pre-considered proposed introduction has been adopted by the council. Committee, excuse me, committee. Uh, I really do just once again, uh, I don't wanna to forget to really thank the staff um, for making these virtual hearings possible. Um, there is an enormous a lot of, amount of organization that needs to go into it and a lot of work and a lot of prep. Uh, so I really just want to thank uh, all the staff to, that makes these go as smoothly as they do. Uh, and with that, that concludes uh, this committee meeting of Consumer Affairs.